Hey everybody, it's Mayor John Huffman and welcome to this week's Minute with the Mayor. And this week I'm doing a handoff to Councilmember Robbins and the South Lake Carroll Target team. Thanks Mayor, uh, I'm out here today with Kyle Mahon who's the head, the head coach of the South Lake Carroll Target practice team. We really appreciate you letting us come out here and see what you guys do. So tell me a little bit about what you got going on out here. Absolutely, so we're a parent run organization that, that are affiliated through the school district as a club team. And we're out here practicing tonight on a Monday night at Adventure Park where you can see behind us we've got six fields going with probably 40, 45 kids shooting. And we work really hard to provide a safe environment for them where they can learn to shoot skeet and trap and sporting clays. Well, this is a pretty impressive setup, I must say. And, and I think, if I remember correctly, you guys have done a pretty good job recently with this, haven't you? You're, you're more than just out here for fun. We, we, we do. We're, we're a competitive shotgun team. We absolutely are. And, and last year, you know, we were lucky enough, and I won't say lucky, the, the kids were good enough that we were the state champion, and we were runner-up in the national championship. So, and honestly, we lost the national championship by six targets. So it, it was a tough loss, but we were right there in the mix all the way till the end. So it was a really good year for us. And, and outside of that, we've got kids that are super competitive that shoot registered, which are um, like adult shoots that, that people spend all life shooting and, and they're national champions and world champions in that as well. So we do a lot of different stuff with them. So, And y'all do all different styles of shooting with this. It's not just trap, it's skeet, and it's, it's sporting, it's everything now, isn't it? Absolutely, yeah, and spinoffs of that. So skeet and trap and sporting are kind of the mainstays, but then we do super sporting and we do trap doubles and we do skeet doubles. So all these sports have, you know, some interesting traditions and stuff. What would you say one of the most interesting traditions you guys have that's different than, than anybody else? I'd say one of the most fun things we do is when a kid shoots their first 25 or first 100, that we shoot their hat. So the hat that you shoot in, we get all the people that were on your squad and we chunk that thing up in the air and everybody goes after it and puts a couple shots through it and it becomes a trophy that hangs on the wall after that. Because you aren't wearing it after that. No, no, no. <laughs> I'd say some of them don't get beat up as bad. But some of them, you know, they, they've got a few holes in them that they become unwearable after that. And don't wear your good hat that day. No, 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 absolutely <laughs> not. Especially, there have been some lucky hats that have gone down this way. There is no question that there's some kids that didn't want to lose their hat, but that's the tradition and it, it's got to go with the one that you shot in that day. Thanks for having us out here. I'm looking forward to see what the kids can do out here today. Very good. Well, let's go shoot something. Absolutely. Awesome. Well, that was a blast. I really appreciate it. We're proud of you guys and all the accomplishments you've had. Uh, we look forward to seeing you next season. And that's it for this week's Minute with the Mayor. See you next week.